In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the importance of understanding the bench concept in Madden, how to utilize it to beat both man and zone coverage. And we're going to do this out of a formation that not a lot of people are talking about right now that I do think is one of the better formations in the game, and that is the tight slots out of the New England Patriots playbook. This formation can be combined with bunch, with trips, with U-trips, all of these great formations in this playbook, and you can actually utilize some of the core concepts out of tight, especially because right now we have a hot route master to be able to make this offense super, super effective. So uh, without further ado, wanted to get into the bench concept, explain why it's good every single year, especially against main coverage, and also how you can actually go about customizing the concept based off of what the defensive opponent is doing to you. Now, again, if you want to get my entire pack ebook all the formations in there are in the patreon the link is in the description 10 bucks gets you access to all of our man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks but let's get on the field here i'm going to be coming out in bench swap because we do have bench in our audibles and just kind of talking through this so the beauty of bench uh switch or bench swap as well as bench is you have two out routes two corner routes that's the core of a concept now the beauty of this play is that it's going to attack the sideline really, really well, specifically against man coverage. And so the other thing is that these out routes are going to pull defenders out, and you can basically highball these corner routes as soon as they cut to the sidelines against man coverage. So as you see right here, if you're getting a lot of man coverage, this is one of the better plays in the game. As you see here, cuts, highball, and I'm going to ag back to the quarterback so that I don't get knocked out with a KO. Uh, I have inside shade on everybody on the defensive side of the ball, and I also have KO abilities as well. But again, you see this high ball animation is super, super, super effective. Now, let's say that they're playing off man coverage. If they're playing off man coverage, one of the things you can often do is you can throw these little out routes against off coverage um, especially if they are you know maybe doing something like this where they're making some adjustments maybe the adjustments look something like this this is where these little corner route or these little quick outs can be pretty decent um, at, at, at defending that now another concept that a lot of people like to do defensively to take this this play away is they're going to press and basically play a coverage that looks somewhat like this this is kind of the standard um, it's, it's kind of the standard the standard deal so again their user is going to be in the middle of the field they have the corner routes manned up and they're really just trying to stop the corner route and so they're going to do that by bracketing when you run the bench play if they put outside thirds on the field oftentimes there's no flat routes there's no flat zones and you're able to attack these quick outs against that coverage this also does a good job and the, really the main reason why this uh, this play was really invented was it was a way to essentially have smash from tight have smashed from tight and we're going to high low the flat against like a cover two set so you'll see here against cover two cloud that cloud flat is always going to sit back and he's going to go guard the corner and then you can throw that out route almost like you would a hitch um, if you were living in a smash concept type place so that leaves the best coverage for this really cover three or cover four and I'll show you with those coverages, what you're going to see here is you have this little window right here. Just like we did against man coverage, you can actually throw that corner route right when he cuts to the sideline, especially if your out route is covered. So let me give you another example. I'm going to jump into cover three. We're going to shade underneath so that we have um, the hard flat help to take away these, uh, these out routes. And what you'll see is you see how when this guy cuts, I can actually ag this in front of the third that is that is this this whole idea of smash because what smash does is it pulls these zones outside it pulls the flat defenders down and it opens up a, a throwing window where we can actually throw this against pretty much every coverage in the game and this is why bench is much much more than just a basic flood concept um it's actually a smash concept if you think about it in terms of the way that the play runs as you see right here the zones that time I didn't do a good job of clicking on. But again, the zones pull out. Why do the zones pull out? Because we have that flat route or that out route. And then what that's designed to do is it's designed to allow me to have this window where I can ag this in front of the zone, all right? So really, really effective play. Now, if you know that it's cover four, if you know that it's cover three, one of the things that you can do is we can create a flood and a bench play on the backside. So um, if I'm in bench here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna streak 
about a scantling we're going to in route our running backs so now we have a high low on the left and then we have the smash concept on the back side this is one of the best ways to flood the sidelines in this game because if it's zone the left side is going to be open if it's man to man the right side is going to be open match also breaks down significantly against this concept and the reason why it breaks down significantly against this concept is due to the fact that on this left side if we run this basic bench play now if we're going to run the play like this one of the things that i would recommend is having a streak to the back um i do love this streak route to the back but anyway against match coverage often what you see here and i did i shouldn't have motioned him um but often what you see against match coverage is to the side that is not the running back side you have a really good shot at getting this corner route open so you'll see here now the left side you see he gets open to the sideline i can throw that with an outside pass lead smash kind of breaks down the coverage and it's really more of a bug in madden in madden's uh, purposes now we're going to show you how you can do the same thing from something like this so let's say for example one of the things that they're doing uh, to stop you is they start doing these adjustments maybe they look somewhat like this okay something like this the beauty of bench swap or bench switch is it just switches who's on the routes, right? And so now what we can do, all I did was I had bench swap, I blocked the running back, and I out-routed the tight end. But what you'll see with this now is the man players are, are covered because they're double teamed basically when you run the concept this way. So if we run the concept this way, now what you're going to notice is when they start to key in on those slot, those um those slots as deep routes now we're going to turn them into underneath routes and the beauty of this is you can still throw if Valdez scantling would actually catch the ball you could still throw that route to Valdez scantling on the sideline even if they do third um oftentimes the other thing you have is you have this this um slot receiver here on the left that was going to almost always beat man coverage. As you see right here, he almost always beats man coverage because he's your best receiver and he's mismatched now against a linebacker. So you can attack, uh, you can attack the defender that way as well. But these are some of the the key components um, as to why bench is one of the most versatile plays uh, year in and year out. As you'll see here, here's that. You see how I can ag it, and I can at least give myself a shot. I, I, I'm not always going to catch it, but I can at least give myself you know, a chance to catch the ball. And if they are doing something like this, for example, what we want to do with bench swap is we can now take advantage of the fact that they're, they're going to, in essence, double team this defender. So we're going to streak Irvin, and what you'll see is he'll clear out the zone, and now there's nobody on this guy. So that's why bench swap and bench switch is such a critical play um, in the bigger picture of everything that we're doing uh, with this with this passing concept. So bench to me is one of the best concepts year in and year out when it is a man coverage meta. It's also really good. It's basically a smash concept. It's very good against cover two, and it can also open up some some tight windows that you can actually hit against cover three and cover four. I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you want to get my entire ebook on tight slots, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is going to be in the description. $10 will get you access to all of our ebooks and all of our updates. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.